Hello, I'm Mayor Lori Lightfoot. And I'm First Lady Amy Eshelman. We're excited to welcome you to the Reimagine Virtual World Music Festival Chicago, a series of free concerts featuring artists from Chicago and across the globe on Sundays throughout the month of September. This new concert series is part of a robust calendar of virtual events honoring many of Chicago's beloved music festivals that were canceled in response to the coronavirus pandemic to protect the health and safety of our residents and visitors. Music has long been our universal language and the common thread that ties people together across culture, time, and now, more than ever, physical distance. As a birthplace of gospel and house music, electric blues and modern jazz, Chicago's sounds and melodies reflect the diversity and dynamism of the people and communities we all call home. This new series is presented by Chicago's Department of Cultural Affairs and Special Events. Thanks to them, we'll continue to celebrate the year of Chicago music, now extended through 2021. During these years of Chicago music, DCASE is committed to showcasing the incredible musicians, organizations, and venues that make up our diverse and legendary music scene. While celebrating Chicago's rich music legacy, we will also lift up Chicago's immigrant voices that connect us to the broader world because music has a power to unite us. For the complete schedule, please visit worldmusicfestivalchicago.org. Take care, Chicago, and please continue to be safe. Hello, thank you for joining us for Virtual World Music Festival Chicago, a series of virtual events and concerts celebrating Chicago. Virtual World Music Festival Chicago will take place right here on the DCASE YouTube channel every Sunday in September from 1 to 3 p.m. Join the conversation on social media using hashtag World Music Festival Chicago. Virtual World Music Festival Chicago is part of Global Music Month 2020, an online festival joining 19 different festivals and presenters' events under one banner for a month-long celebration of international music, August 29th through October 1st. Visit globalmusicmonth.org for more information. Our upcoming performers have social media information pinned on screen while they perform. Find them online to follow, listen more, and please support. The following performance is supported in part by an award from the National Endowment for the Arts and the Chicago Transit Authority. We hope that you enjoy the show. There's so many immigrant communities in Chicago that have been making such an impact in music. Uh, the folks at, at DK in the city of Chicago approached uh, myself and, and one, my colleague Juanis Zarur to put together a, a new version of this orchestra, and that's what we've been doing, and it's, it's just been magical. It's really been magical. Rather than featuring little bits of different countries, we're really bringing all of the musical styles together and orchestrating a, 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 a whole, a sound from all of these different textures. So you'll have uh, Hitesh Master singing this Indian style accompanied by a Mongolian throat singer. So these very different combinations are unique textures that are just beautiful and never really explored. But now we're starting to hear how these different sounds can relate together and create a, a cohesive whole. So that's what you're going to be hearing with the new Chicago Immigrant Orchestra. <laughs>
Chicago is is a um, you know as a city you know I've been here for um, seven eighteen years and uh, you know it's it's uh, there's representation from literally all over the world in Chicago and and you can really see um, uh, and hear different types of music and experience different types of culture in Chicago that's kind of unique to the city in a way and and you know to to the to this country. Um, uh, in general. Uh, now, specifically with this orchestra, an orchestra like this is almost impossible to put together anywhere else in the world. So, uh, you know, this tells you, you know, what, what, you know, and again, to Farid's point earlier, what makes this country really, what gives it strength and uniqueness and, and uh, importance in the world is that, is the fact that it represents a lot of the cultures of the world. And uh, um, this, this orchestra is really a um, kind of a snapshot of that. And, uh, and uh, it's, it's uh, you know, really cool to have all of these cultures uh, um, kind of do one thing together um, in, a, in, a, in kind of a cohesive performance, so. <laughs> Oh, 
عیادت می کنی عیادت می کنی بی مار خود مرا این آرزو
the music we're playing is a combination of original music and arrangements of traditional tunes. But even those traditional tunes were taken out of their traditions, so to speak, and bringing new traditions to them. Well, part of the, the arranging of this music is knowing the styles, and that's why I think having folks like Juanice, like myself, who have experience with lots of different musical traditions, you start to realize that there are certain essential elements. You've got to understand the groove. You've got to understand the melody, the harmony, and then orchestration. How do you use these textures? So we can say, well, now we have uh, an African drum that's deep and an Indian drum that's high pitched, but actually orchestrating using this new palette of colors, this, this brand new uh, exciting set of textures that really people haven't explored as much as they, they, they may be able to in the future. So this is an exciting new step for us. Tout 
When the uh, city of Chicago approached me about co-leading this group, I jumped at the chance because I feel like now more than ever, the value of the immigrant experience in America needs to be reasserted and appreciated and valued. And what's amazing is Chicago is, is really uh, this place of coming together of all of these immigrant communities and immigrant influences in a way that is so powerful and so uplifting. And what you notice is that whether it's the forced immigration of, of Africans from 500 years ago or the uh, immigrants escaping persecution of other countries to those looking for simply a better life, all of them share this energy, this feeling of the blues. Chicago is known as a blues town and every time I hear Tamir or Hitesh or Juan, uh, Juanis, myself, th these sounds have so much blues in them. And that brings it together and we realize that the immigrant experience, the human experience, you know, is about in many ways the blues and Chicago is a blues town. So it just brings it all together and brings it home. One, two, three. <laughs>
This program was a little bit of a trial by fire. Because of the COVID uh, issues, um, originally we weren't sure that we were going to have any performance. We were slated to do a, a number of performances with the full orchestra, with a week of rehearsals. All of that got canceled. And then at the last minute, I think the city of Chicago found their legs and they figured out that there was a way to do the World Music Festival. Yeah, we, we, we actually met in, uh, for a coffee pre-COVID. And, uh, and got together and talked about it and talked about approach and philosophy and how we want to do it. And, uh, um, and after that, it was just all phone calls and we basically put the whole program together over the phone. We wanted to make a tapestry and really just kind of bring it all together in, into one uh, cohesive unit. And they invited us to do, uh, just a few weeks ago, a cut down version, um, recording here today and rehearsing yesterday. So we met for the very first time yesterday played through these arrangements together, crafted the orchestrations that you heard, and uh, put it all together in, well, less than 24 hours. One, two, one, two, three.
Hey, Chicago, you've stayed home for months and saved lives. And now, because of all your hard work, we can go out. But we have to be safe. As long as we follow proper precaution, wear face coverings, social distance, we're good to go. Put on some pants, please, and head back to the office. Go ahead, get the pedicure, or get that tattoo that you won't regret. Dine al fresco and eat food you didn't make. Or the libraries are open, check out a book. It's like a podcast, but on paper. Get that root canal. Work on your short game. Enjoy yourself outside, but please remember, be safe, Chicago. And if you'll excuse me, there's one last thing I gotta do. That's better. Be safe, Chicago. Thank you for joining us. We hope you've enjoyed the show. Please join us for Virtual Music Festival Chicago every Sunday in September, 1 to 3 p.m., right here on the DCASE YouTube channel. Find the full schedule at worldmusicfestivalchicago.org and join the conversation on social media with hashtag World Music Festival Chicago. Be sure to check out other great performances as part of Global Music Month 2020, August 29th through October 1st, an online celebration of music from around the world. Visit globalmusicmonth.org for the full schedule. The performance you just watched is supported in part by an award from the National Endowment for the Arts and the Chicago Transit Authority. Thank you to everyone who supported the Arts for Illinois Relief Fund, which is giving critical assistance to our local artists and cultural organizations impacted by COVID-19. Visit sweethomechicago.org to watch an amazing new music video benefiting the fund and donate if you can. We hope you join us for more upcoming events presented by Mayor Lori Lightfoot and the Chicago Department of Cultural Affairs and Special Events.